So my motivation would be, I think, that um, I am working currently as a youth worker and um, I felt like there is still, like I'm quite young and I have so, so, so much to learn. And when I saw like the title, From Learning to Impact, I really like that process that I should learn to make an impact. That would be my motivation, I think. So I'm here because I want to learn how to uh, help people, especially young people, learn and unlearn uh, attitudes, behaviors, skills for peace and nonviolence. And this is my passion. Uh, I was attracted by this one word, what is impact. So in education, what I see, uh, there are a lot of cases when there are impactless educational programs because they are more kind of oriented towards processes so we will learn something but we are not taking care of impact so when I try to do something in education we have to think about these people what we uh, will have impact on and this is really delicate this is really skillful process what needs to be taken care of. So coming here and knowing that there will be so many trainers from so many different backgrounds, I wanted to see what they think is the most important in delivering for their uh, students in delivering for the people that they work with and I wanted to grab those ideas into organizing it somehow together into knowing how to incorporate them into my field. I am, I am in a, involved in a never-ending learning process as a trainer and uh, this project is just part of that, uh, of that learning process and it actually is very interesting for me because I am very into this uh, how to support the people learning better and I think this project is going to be very helpful for that. I want to engage in a serious dialogue with um, young educators like myself from Europe and from the MENA region on how can we design learning experiences that can help young people uh, shape their identities in a way that is more inclusive and in a way that is more um, open to diversity. Uh, actually, I can't talk uh, on the name of others, but for me, um, lifelong learning is important and maybe it is one of the things that uh, is keeping me uh, alive, I mean in a human sense, emotionally, intellectually, so uh, that is important for me for that reason, to keep myself like alive, energetic and enthusiastic. So in a nutshell my personal objective was of course building building the network. But what do I do with this network that I built? Yes, of course we can develop a further project, but the thing is that what I wanted in the end, what I realized that I want uh, and my objective is, is to create the set of skills I would like my students to have when learning a foreign language. And those skills I will get through communicating with my colleagues here who have this diverse background. Nobody teach us how to learn. In the school we are in a process where they tell you what do you have to learn, but nobody tells you how to do it, how to go through that. And uh, not everybody has the opportunity to find that. What is my best way of learning? Yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, like unique experience because usually, yeah, when we are kids we don't have that opportunity. The strategy that the organizers of this project took into giving us so much freedom and uh, we were resistant first because it felt like we do need more of the impulse, we do need to have a little bit more of the objective but at the same time they created such an atmosphere in which we can really discover a lot ourselves, we can be coordinating the process much and taking all the responsibility and so the outcomes are not really planned, like we don't really know what we'll have here in the end and uh, I think that this freedom that the organizers gave us and this approach to discussing learning is something that is really unique. It is the first
first project that I've been in uh, that like the participants are all very uh, brilliant and they have very specific characteristics uh, like in individual levels so yeah actually this diversity seeing this it's very nice Young people are fed up from trainings. Even when now it's workshops, they still are fed up. <laughs> we need new things. We need new uh, experiences that simulate the reality, that makes them, you know, have the same experience that they have in reality. You know, to get angry and to get frustrated and to, I don't know, like be uh, to have fear and and then like you learn how to man, you know, maneuver through these feelings and uh, this tension. And then from this, they, you know, uh, grew more maturity and more um, resilient. Yes. So I'm, I'm really looking into learning how can we create this. I mean, I'm sure there is something beyond that we can discover. I mean, before we had the traditional setting, now we have this workshop, interactive learning. I think we are ready for a new evolution when it comes to learning experiences the different obstacles that we might be facing. I believe that we have been already discussing this to other, with other participants and the big question is in the motivating other people. So what normally works for one person doesn't necessarily transfer to the other and you need to find the ways of this universal motivation of boosting and giving the impulse to other people. And we, we need to have this individual approach, but at the same time, how many strategies could you utilize? So we are looking at the ways that could be quite universal in motivating other people regardless of their background and funny enough if we talk about impact then there is topic about marketing education without marketing is dead because when you don't have a knowledge how to spread your message how to attract people towards something towards school towards your project whatsoever uh, you can be genius you can be Jesus and you can be Jesus uh, who no one knows my main broadly takeaways are it is so so important to understand that learning process is taking care of state of brain learning is state of brain that means there are states of brain that are we are not able to learn when we are sleepy when we are not engaged when we don't understand goal when we don't understand question when we don't uh, have connections when we don't have relationships with the teachers and so on so on so on so on so this is kind of really strong reminder that we need to care about state of brain and we can care about that knowing neuroscience we can now uh, knowing about uh, endocrinology uh, interactions between people uh, social dynamics in the groups and so on so on so on so this is really hugely important and uh, sometimes formal education and sometimes informal education suffers that they ignore science i I think I've already learned a lot about my processes and what I am doing and um, that is probably will help me um, in the future to, to know how other people's mind work basically because we are all human beings so my mind works like this so it must be quite similar to other ones. Also when you understand this, when you understand your own learning is when you can support others to also find what is their learning process, what do they want to learn, and to find their way, because each individual has a different way of learning. So this process, when I understand it, I can support others on that. Uh, what I'm doing back in my country, like I am the secretary general of the organization and I am trying to um, coordinate different projects and work on them. But when it comes to impact, uh, I mean the measure, it's really hard for us. The impact is not tangible. So here I am learning how they are doing it. I'm not only learning uh, the, how to say, content or uh, I'm not only learning from the trainers what they say but I also learn how to organize a good project so yeah that's also important and that is how I am go going to use uh, back in my community like uh, I will use it to measure uh, the impact uh, of our projects and our uh, actions
My passion in life is to help society how to develop critical thinking, how to develop mindfulness, how to effectively develop understanding what is my life passion, so on and so on. When we don't have this critical thinking aspect in our lives and skill, we suffer as a society, we suffer as a human beings. So this would be my impact if I can create and continue create these online learning systems for a lot of people. And those systems should be engaging and smart and fun, not like uh, in old schools or in 19th century church when there are priests, but we need fun, we then need engagement and we need uh, this new skill level rise for, you know, for critical thinking, communication skills and so on, so on, so on forth. I think the impact that I'm looking for is to develop, together develop a strong narrative. A strong narrative uh, of humanity, of peace, but that is uh, strongly rooted not just in the globality, or the global, but also in the local. The narrative that can appeal to young people and that gives them, you know, powerful, convincing answers to why um, diversity, peace, nonviolence is is the way to live and is the way to be. I think that the impact I want to make is like understanding my learning because I really do think that um, to help others, first I have to help myself. To make others learn, I have to learn before so I know what is learning, I know how I do it which will help me to maybe help others to have the same process. That's the impact I, I really wish to do. I think you will have the impact if you have desire to have the impact. So if you personally focus on the idea that you want to develop another person, you want to maybe not develop, you want to help another person develop and you want to be involved, then you will make an impact. So it starts with you.